Hello YouTubers, Mommy Ray Ray, how is everybody today? Today I am going to show you how I make my corned beef, guys. I went down to my local Eastern Market here in Michigan and I got me a corned beef, guys. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make. We're going to go in, guys. I'm going to get my cold water running. And I'm going to go in. I paid about $23 for this one, guys. And I'm going to rinse it off really well with some cold water. Not hot water that I had running. See this, guys? This is the flat piece of the corned beef. And I'm going to cook this, guys. I'm just rinsing it a little bit. I'm going to put it in there. This is so easy. All right, guys. I'm going to show you what I got to do. I'm going to put it in my pot with a little garlic. This is what I have for it. And I'll be All right, right back. guys. I'm back. I put my garlic in the bottom. And I have some pimentos, guys, that I'm putting in there. If you can see, it's very little pimentos in there. I got my heat on. I'm going to need my Bragg's vinegar, and I have some pimentos and garlic, guys. And water is all I'm going to give this with here today. I'm going to show you guys how to make this corned beef. Okay, straight in, guys. You hear that? That's how you do it. And I'm going to go in with my water. And you guys are going to be surprised and how easy this is to make when you get a fresh corned beef. It is so easy to make. Makes the best sandwiches, corned beef and cabbage. You just want to put that love in there, guys, so that it can be loved on your corned beef. Okay, I'm going in, guys, with my water. See that? You want that water? I'm gonna get a little more. Just a little bit more, guys. Water in there. And when I put this water in here, guys, I'm gonna let this corned beef do what it's supposed to do. So we got our corned beef with the water in there. And now I'm gonna go in with two caps full of my apple cider vinegar. I have some pimentos in there, a garlic clove, and one, two vinegar. All right, guys, this is gonna cook probably for about two to three hours. I'll let you guys know exactly the time on this. It came from Wrigley's Market. And guys, I'll be back once this is done. I'll see you soon. I'll be back. Okay. All right, YouTubers, I'm back. It's Mommy Ray Ray with that corned beef. It took two hours and 45 minutes, guys. See that steam coming up? I wanted you guys to see that. I'm going to grab my aluminum foil, guys, and show you how you do this. What you, oh, I don't have much of it. So hopefully it'll do the trick. What you want to do now, guys, is you want to go in and get this corned beef that you've done two hours and 45 minutes, guys. That's what it took for this beautiful corned beef. See that? It's beautiful. I'm gonna let it rest here on this aluminum foil. Sit out, guys. And I'm gonna take you guys on this journey with me. This is gonna cool. I'm gonna let it sit out till it cool and then I'm gonna refrigerate it, guys. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna show you guys with the rest of that cabbage that I made, some coleslaw. I'm gonna put a little Miracle Whip and mayonnaise, guys. Little sugar, and I'm gonna make you guys some slaw with this corned beef. So guys, I'll be right back when I get all the ingredients together. This is gonna be a sandwich to die for, guys. But Mommy Ray Ray will be right back. I'll be right back, bye-bye. Okay. All right, guys, I'm back. And what I want to show you is a quick way to make some coleslaw so that we can have it for our corned beef, guys. 
I've already shredded it, but for you who wanted to know, I took my shredder and I shredded me some cabbage, guys. This was cabbage that I had previous that already washed and cleaned. And I also took my carrots, guys, and I shredded it. See what I'm doing here? So if you just wanted to know what I did here. Okay, I'm gonna pour all of that in. And I'm gonna show you a recipe of how my grandmother would make her coleslaw, guys. Make sure you wash those carrots up, okay? I wanna get this up, guys. Okay, guys, this is what we wanna do. This is that beautiful cabbage that we shredded up and those carrots. We're gonna bring all of that together. See how beautiful that is? And what we're gonna put in here, guys, is we're gonna go in with a teaspoon of sugar. And I have a little bit of um, vinegar here, guys, white vinegar. And I may have to add more. I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt. I'm gonna put some pepper. Okay, and I wanna mix it all in, guys. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to end up adding more vinegar because I have more cabbage in here than I thought. Okay, so we wanna go in with some thousand dollar, I got it at Kroger's, just eyeball it. And you wanna whip that in, guys. I'm gonna whip it all in as you go. Then I have some Hellman's mayonnaise here. And I have a big tablespoon. One, two. Those are my big helpings of that. Then I have a little Miracle Whip here. I'm gonna go in, guys, with that. And I'm gonna bring all of this together. See how I'm folding it? And this is what I'm gonna have with my, um, oops, with my um, corned beef, guys, my cabbage and coleslaw. Let me clean the table. Okay. All right, guys, I'm back. I put all that love in there. It's ready. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to take this coleslaw, and I'm going to make some sandwiches. I'm going to let this sit in the fridge for about a half an hour. My corned beef is going to be in there. It's cooling off. Guys, this is great. It's quick, and you'll see where... It'll be great with the sandwiches. I have onion rolls and my corned beef. And I'm just going to put a little white pepper on it, guys. Just a little bit of white pepper I'm going in with it. And I'm going to let that sit on it and soak in with the rest of the love. And I'll be back, guys, in about a few minutes here. Put this in the fridge. Cool. And I'll be right back. All right, okay. All right, guys, I'm back. And this is my corned beef, guys. I've cut it and I sliced it. And I'm gonna show you guys how I make my sandwich. I have an onion roll here, guys. And I'm gonna cut it. You could toast it if you like, guys. I'm just gonna use my mustard. Put a little mustard on here. Top and bottom. And I'm gonna build my sandwich, guys. I've cut it really thin. And I'm gonna build the corned beef sandwich up. You can put the corned beef however you want it. Okay. 
have American cheese. I usually like provolone, but it's none in my refrigerator, guys. So, just gonna take this, put it on there like that. And, voila. You can heat this in the microwave, guys, so that you can melt your cheese. And this is what you'll have. A beautiful Mommy Ray Ray's corned beef. All right, guys, if you like this video, I would hope that you would subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and a comment. If you wanna put your coleslaw on the sandwich, you can, guys. I'm gonna give this one to my son. This is how he like his. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna put the coleslaw on top of mine. Everybody have a great day. God bless. And you know how I do it. When I go in, I go hard. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye.